My name is Peter J. Decker. I was born and raised in Jovet's Arm, Fogo Island. I do uh, inland hiking, offshore boat tours, and recently I started the, the artist studio tours. The artist studios are used for the artists to do their work, and the artists themselves live in the nearest community, so they can walk to and from the studios. Uh, there are four studios on Fogo Island. One's located in Deep Bay, another in Shoal Bay, there's one in Jobat's Arm, and there's another one in Tilting called the Squish Studio. Most people's first impressions when they see the studios are just wow. <laughs> people are amazed at the architecture and how it's so, it's like built into the land. It's, people just think it's beautiful. So it's just this small building perched on a cliff with just a sort of ocean surrounding it. From particular perspectives, it almost looks like an iceberg emerging out from the landscapes and the positioning that's very in keeping with the local architecture. It's nice. They're built in the traditional way on, on stilts and the colors are all to blend into the environment. The aesthetics of all the studios, I think, are interesting because they're very contemporary, kind of modern looking buildings, but then they're just that little bit more extreme. But obviously, they're all off the grid, they're all completely self-sufficient. Generally, they have a, an area to sleep. They have water that's brought in there, a wood stove, wood supplied, and all ran on solar power, and very low impact to the environment. I would say my favorite one is definitely the one that I'm working in. You always see different birds. I've seen butterflies. There's lots of kind of uh, white flowers appearing. There might even be whales visible here. And it's a constantly changing experience. And I do kind of want to go out on hikes most of the time when the sun comes out. So I'm trying not to be distracted by it, I guess. <laughs> The new influx of people coming in is just amazing. I mean, it's, it's international. We have people come here from all over the world, Germany, Iceland. They're getting to see what we have to offer and we get to know what they have to offer. It's great. I live in a local community, maybe a you know, five minute drive away called Jobat's Arm. And it feels like there's a lot of openness from the people in the community. They sort of welcome you into it. They're aware that you are new, obviously. You don't really feel isolated or alone because of that. People remember you if you go to the shops and they wave at you in the street or they stop for little chats and so it's it's really very, uh, yeah, it's a very welcoming place to come to for sure.